Today, we are hosting a webinar as the Workforce Nutrition Alliance on the new tools and resources that we have available uh, for you as a company to develop your workforce nutrition program. Um, so the agenda for today is uh, to first talk a little bit about what the Workforce Nutrition is all about. And uh, my colleague, Eva Criterelli from the Consumer Goods Forum will talk us through that. And then I will be introducing uh, what we call the Technical Support Program. Uh, my name is Miriam Kneepkens from the Global Alliance for Improved Nutrition. And uh, in the Technical Support Program, we'll talk about uh, the tools and resources that we have available and then more specifically, about the guidebook series and the get started and dive deeper technical support program that we have been developing. And um, at the end of this session, we will have time for Q and A. And as you can see, there is a, a box, chat box where you can drop your question. So please, if you have any questions uh, during the webinar, uh, feel free to drop them in the Q and A box and we'll get to them at the end of the session. Um, yeah, please enjoy and I'll give the uh, floor to Eva. Thank you so much, Miriam. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon um, and good evening for those who um, listen to us or watch us from um, the East. So I'm Eva Cruzarelli. I'm the Healthier Ma Lives Manager at the Consumer Goods Forum. The Consumer Goods Forum is a, a global industry association and profit organization that uh, has about 400 members from retailers, manufacturers, and service providers from the consumer goods industry. Um, we're focusing on working on positive change in a number of different fields that you can see on the screen. So healthier lives, um, deforestation, plastics, product data, uh, sustainable supply chain, human rights, uh, the Global Food Safety Initiative, and food waste. I'm working on healthier lives, and our focus is to help both consumers and employees um, lead healthier lives. And we, as, um, as an organization, we have the, uh, we're in the position to have approximately, through our members, the reach of 10 million direct employees and 9 million. Um, indirect employees. Um, the statistics say that one in three people are malnourished, and that can mean either micronutrient deficient and underweight or overweight and obese. Um, and this impacts directly not only people themselves, but also businesses and the global economy. Um, studies have shown that um, this is an effect, a multi-billion effect across uh, economies and countries around the world. At the same time, uh, more than a third of, um, more than half of the global population will spend uh, one third of their adult lives at work. And what this means is that the workplace can be an optimal point of intervention uh, to tackle um, workforce nutrition. But at the same time, we're very much aware that there are challenges for the employers and we can cluster them in four big buckets, let's say. So this can be lack of awareness, lack of understanding, in other words, of the, the size of the problem and of the fact that employers can do something about it. And there can be limited incentive because uh, there are other priorities in the organizational agenda and hence workforce nutrition is not at the top of it. Um, high resource requirements, and, and this can mean um, money, time, um, and, you know, employee energy even, let's put it like this, but also the complexity of implementation, especially for employers who operate across different um, work places, from office to um, plantation, let's say. And there's a vast array of workplaces and different ways to implement. But, um, the Workforce Nutrition Alliance, um, which was created in two, 2019 when the Global Alliance for Improved um, Nutrition and the CGF came together and joined forces to address this issue, um, aims to support employers around the world to, to implement, to expand uh, or to expand existing nutrition programs and impact 3 million employees in their organizations 
by 2025. Miriam, shall we go to the next? So following the scientific work and research that was conducted by Jane, we focus our work in four pillars, and that is healthy food at work, uh, meaning the, the food that uh, the employer can provide at the workplace, breastfeeding supports for mothers, nutrition-focused health checks, um, and nutrition education. Um, these pillars have been specifically selected among all aspects of nutrition, and we can provide even further data on how um, this can impact your workforce. So we'll go to the next. It's a quick video that really demonstrates um, the core of our work. Um, at the Workforce Nutrition Alliance, we work to uh, create a clear six-step process that can help an employer um, improve or create their uh, workforce nutrition programs. And we can start with uh, assessing the existing workforce programs that you have in place in your organization. Uh, on our website, you can find an online uh, tool, an online scorecard. And that is free, it's easily accessible, and will allow any organization to go through it step by step and make a self-assessment with um, um, really private information. This information will not be shared with anyone and understand how well or how uh, much space for improvement there is in the organization. We then Taking your uh, score into account, you can set your enhancement targets based, uh, of course, on the priorities of the organization, the cultural and, and um, institutional or, let's say, legal content of the country where you're operating and so on. And we are with you at this uh, step um, to help you develop your implementation plan. We take the time to I uh, have one-to-one -to -one, uh, meetings and, and answer questions and help any employer think how this can be developed. Um, then, um, and this will be the core um, content of our webinar today where Miriam will elaborate, we provide access to implementation support uh, program, in other words, a technical program um, that is divided into um, essentially um, core um, programs. One is the three uh, guides, uh, guidebooks that are accessible on our website and, and can be downloaded by anyone. Um, there's no fee for that. And on the other hand, we have the technical support program where um, Miriam will be elaborating on and, and will be explaining how uh, they have been designed to provide the best support uh, for companies or organizations that are in different levels of um, their practice. Um, our 
process also provides you the opportunity to monitor and report your progress, both internally, but also um, depending on your level of progress externally, as you wish. And uh, reap rewards, which can be, of course, reputation, um, positive reputation, um, attracting more employees, um, and so on and so forth. Um, it's, it's, we hope that it's a very clearly articulated process and that it can help any employer, no matter where uh, you're based around the world, to improve the workforce uh, nutrition programs that you have in place. And with this, I will close and pass the floor to uh, Miriam, who will be able to walk you through uh, really the, the technical support program in detail. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Eva, for that uh, introduction to the Workforce Nutrition Alliance and uh, painting the picture of uh, yeah what we dive a bit deeper in today. Um, so uh, as Eva has uh, shared, we have this six step process to help you from thinking through where do I stand with my organization when it comes to workforce nutrition. So that could be on all the four areas. So healthy food at work, breastfeeding support, nutrition focused health checks, and then also nutrition education. Um, you start with that assessment, where do I stand on each area? And then um, we help you think through where can you improve, but then also how are you going to do that? So on that journey, we offer a set of tools and resources and uh, Eva already elaborated a bit on the first one, the self-assessment scorecard. That is the first one that you come across because that is the start of the journey to, uh, to assess where you stand. Um, but then we also have uh, technical expertise. We as GAIN and EGF, uh, CTF are not doing this alone. We are working together with technical experts from uh, Alive and Thrive, uh, BDA Word Red Work Ready, and IGD on those uh, different areas. Um, we also uh, are looking at companies who are already being examples in their field of how this can be do how this can be done. Um, and with that knowledge and experience, they can uh, guide others, they can uh, inspire others. And uh, those are what we call lighthouse leaders. Uh, and for example, Google is uh, a lighthouse leader for this area for healthy food at work. And Olam is another one for nutrition education. And then uh, what we talk about today is the technical support program. So once you have uh, decided uh, where you stand and what you want to focus on. Uh, you have identified an area where you uh, where you can grow as an organization. We want to offer you uh, support, and of course, you can um, you can hire an individual consultant to work with you. But we we realize that that is not possible for each organization. So we want to make um, standardized, high quality support available to any company around the world uh, that wants to improve upon workforce nutrition. Um, and this is, again, where that sits in that six-step process. So in the fourth uh, step, once you have developed your implementation plan, you are, um, and with implementation plan, we mean like you have set your direction on where you want to improve. Uh, and then uh, you can access our technical support program to, and we help you uh, think through all of those steps, what that concretely means. And we have different tools available because we realize that each company has different needs. Um, at first, there is the guidebook series, and uh, this is for each uh, area of workforce nutrition. We have designed a guidebook that uh, and these are freely available at the website workforcenutrition.org, uh, where you can find all the basic information on this topic. And we provide you with simple solutions uh, to enhance your workforce nutrition program. Um, so this is the all the theory you need, and then also some very practical pointers, like this is what you could do, this is where you could start. So for co some companies that might actually be uh, sufficient, and this is something you can 
this is just the guidance you need to get going in your own own organization and see how this um, how you can bring this into practice what you identify the things that you uh, can improve upon and then the other uh, option we offer is a technical support program because we also realize that for some companies they need a little bit more um, support in the sense that we help them think through how to uh, where to start, where to focus, and which activities, for example, can be uh, most meaningful in the end to get impacts on, uh, on nutrition. And um, with these technical support programs, uh, these take about four to five months and uh, are very much process oriented. So we take you through the whole process of uh, where do I currently stand, what is possible within my organization, and then where should I focus? So basically, in these few months, you are um, you are starting your own workforce nutrition program in your organization. So this is not a learning course or about theory. It's really about getting into action. And we support you in that design and implementation process uh, of a workforce nutrition program in your company. And we have two tracks here. So we have the get started uh, support program and the dive deeper support program and as the name is already suggesting the get started uh, support program is for companies that are just getting started and the dive deeper program is for companies that uh, already have something in place they already have their workforce nutrition program or at least some activities going on and they want to take that one step further um, but let's, uh, I'll get back to the technical support program in a bit. Let's first uh, take a, a closer look at the guidebooks. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, you can uh, download these guidebooks uh, at the website. I would definitely recommend that at least to just uh, scroll them through. It's, um, yeah, it's a really nice overview of, uh, of what you can do in each area. Uh, but then of course, ideally also to, uh, to put it into action and to start thinking about how you can use this in your organization. Uh, so for each area, we have uh, developed a handbook and it follows at a structure, as you can, as you can see right here, this is the example uh, that we had for the breastfeeding support uh, one. So it starts with uh, basic information. It starts with the evidence about uh, why this is relevant for your organization. So um, yeah, it really helps you to, uh, it serves as a reminder on why this uh, could and should be a priority in your company. And then we talk about the basic things that you can do, the key areas where you want to focus on. And then in the third chapter, we make that really practical. So what does that mean for your organization? Where, where do you need to start? Um, and then uh, we close the, guidebook with a chapter on uh, monitoring. So how, how do I keep track of what is going on? How do I measure success? Um, what are the monitoring indicators I could use? And uh, of course, we have a section on references, but then also other tools that may be very relevant for you. So these are just a few uh, screenshots of the guidebooks. And as you can see, this one is the, uh, on the left, you see the um, a page on the evidence of impact of healthy food at work. Um, then the second one shows uh, health checks in practice. So what does that mean? Uh, for example, it talks about making it affordable, uh, setting goals and KPIs, make it easy to participate, uh, include counseling as well. Uh, make it safe. I don't expect you to <laughs> be able to read all the small letters here, but I'll just read it out for you. Um, make it safe for people so that they uh, that they feel that their data is protected and then uh, measure the results of what you're doing and create follow-up moments. So these are very practical pointers of what a health check should look like. So um, yeah, in general, the guidebooks help you think through uh, if you want to do something on workforce nutrition, where should you start? And then uh, the last example I have here is monitor your progress. Uh, and this is from the breastfeeding guidebook. 
Um, so it gives the suggestion to look both at the reach, but then also at the breastfeeding practices that are in place. And it helps you uh, to answer a few basic questions, like who is going to do the monitoring? Uh, who is responsible for that process? But then also, what will you do with the data once you have received it? Um, and now back to the uh, technical support programs, get started and dive deeper. So as I already mentioned, we have these two tracks, uh, one for companies just getting started and one for companies going one step further. And with the get started course, you are, um, you're with a group of uh, up to 25 participants. And these people are uh, all coming from a variety of companies. And this is really, uh, when we started designing these programs, we, uh, we talked to a lot of companies, like what would you, how, how can we make this most relevant for you? And I think one of the key things that came out of that process what that was that people wanted to learn from each other. Um, and this is really a, uh, in both the Get Started and Dive Deeper course, it's really an opportunity to learn from technical experts, but then also from each other. And that combination, I think, makes it really powerful. So the Get, Get Started programs program focuses on all areas of workforce nutrition. So that is healthy food at work, uh, nutrition education, breastfeeding support, and nutrition-focused health checks. And uh, because we believe that um, whether you are focusing on healthy food at work or breastfeeding support, you are going through that same process of identifying what needs to be done, looking into your organization, uh, yeah, what what the opportunities are and then uh, developing your implementation plan monitoring framework etc um, so we cover all of those four areas and of course we have separate sessions with that go into all the technical details of these specific areas um, so there's uh, you won't miss out on any information there um, yeah, but then we do encourage you to focus on one theme only because uh, we realize that a lot of companies are so excited in the beginning to get started that they want to do everything at once. And we really appreciate that enthusiasm, but we also realize that it's often uh, a better use of time and resources to focus on one thing and do that very well. And then once you have that going, you, uh, you can start focusing on the next thing. And then the Dive Deeper program focuses on one area only to, uh, because we expect that companies already have something going on in that area. So we really want to give them the opportunity to dive a bit deeper into uh, how they could improve that. Uh, a bit more attention for monitoring and evaluation, for example. Um, so uh, with the Dive Deeper program, we are the first uh, round of uh, of the course is focusing on healthy food at work. Um, yeah, I already mentioned that you are doing this program in a small group. It's 20 up to 20 people for the Dive Deeper program and up to 25 for the Get Started one. And it's, it's following a process-oriented structure. And we have uh, a number of live sessions. We have assignments to really get you into action mode and to help you, uh, yeah, help you design uh, the program. So these assignments are not uh, that we want you to do uh, your homework. It's not a boring thing, uh, but it's really a practical to really, um, yeah, design your program. So it really serves that practical purpose. Uh, we have resources available for you to make those assignments, to do those, um, yeah, the, uh, to design the program within your company. And then we also have a lot of room for Q&A. Uh, and again, both to learn from technical experts, but then also from your peers. Uh, I think I covered everything on this slide. And just, uh, I mentioned it already, but um, yeah, just to, uh, as a reminder, so we have uh, really the opportunity to learn from so many, uh, people that have so many to share. So we have our technical experts from Alive and Thrive, Work Ready, IGD. Uh, then we have a program manager from Gain who will be hosting the course that includes myself. 
And then um, maybe the best experts of all, you have your peers who will also be going through the same process. They come across, even though their organizations may be very different, I'm sure uh, people will come across the same challenges and can inspire each other to find solutions and um, yeah, to, to learn from each other, share best practices. And then you may wonder who this is for. And um, I think as if we talk about the companies that uh, yeah, could be interested in participating in these programs, I think it's most relevant for companies that already have uh, the capacity and resources to uh, build a workforce nutrition program. And um, not to say that you need uh, big resources to, to act upon workforce nutrition, but um, just make sure that that something can be done in your company and we will help you think through how to use those resources most efficiently how to get most impact for uh, for the resources that you have available um yeah but uh, um and then it's most relevant for the companies that do need that a bit of extra guidance to help them through think through uh, all of this and of course the guidebooks may be relevant for companies that have someone who um, who can prioritize workforce nutrition in their work. They can uh, take the guidebooks and then uh, start testing some things within their company. Um, so that might be a starting point for you. And then um, later on, you can always decide, of course, to also take part in the technical support program. Um, we encourage the uh, yeah, ideally the participant in the in the program is uh, also the person who is responsible for the design and implementation of a workforce nutrition program in their workplace. So this, because uh, as I mentioned, it's such a practical uh, process that we're taking you through. Uh, ideally, this person is then also leading in that. So it's not necessarily a, a manager or a decision maker. Uh, could be an HR manager, for example, but um, it's really the person that is coordinating all of this and is that is able to pull others in where needed. Uh, and of course, that is also uh, able to get uh, some key decisions uh, on workforce nutrition if needed. And then if a company has multiple work, work sites, uh, so for example, you are a global company and you have a work site in Kenya, but also Bangladesh, you may want to consider having um, uh, a, a program manager from both those work sites uh, participating because they will uh, it it will be much more difficult for someone in Kenya to actually design and implement a program for Bangladesh, as you can imagine. And um, it may also be relevant for your organization to have a second person from the same work site participating in the program at a reduced fee um, so that people can share responsibilities and ensure continuity. Something that I haven't listed on the slides, but um, just, an, just to note that this uh, program may also be interesting uh, for caterers who are interested to work together with their clients uh, on this. Um, then I just wanted to give you a bit of a feeling of what that Get Started program uh, looks like. So this is uh, for the Get Started program, but uh, the Dive Deeper program follows uh, a bit of a similar process, but then of course, assuming that you already have something in place. So it's a little bit different, but um, overall uh, similar. So uh, it's 22 weeks in total, and uh, we have a stepwise approach. So we have step one to five. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I hope it's not confusing that we have uh, stepwise approaches for multiple things, uh, but I trust that you will, uh, I hope that you will follow me on this. So the first uh, topic we are addressing is the theme and the team. So the theme is what I talked about. So we, we encourage you to uh, think through which area of workforce nutrition is the first one you want to address. Not the only one per se, but the first one. So are you focusing on healthy food at work? Are you focusing on nutrition-focused health checks, for example? 
Um, and the second one, and this is a very important one, is to uh, start building your team. So um, we help you think through like who in the organization should be on board to make this program a success. Which resources do you need? Um, how are you going to make sure to get those resources? Which uh, internal advocacy, so to say, do you have to do um, to get this program going? Uh, who do you need on your team, for example, if you are um, doing improving healthy food at work, you may want to talk to the canteen manager um, to make sure that they are on board with this. So that is the first two weeks. And um, this includes two online sessions and then also two assignments. So for the um, online sessions, this is maybe also important to note that um, the uh, in the beginning of the course and also throughout, we focus a lot on interaction, getting to know each other, uh, finding your buddy so that you can do some of the assignments together if, if you want that. Um, because we strongly believe that people can learn from each other, this is also an important aspect of the course that we, that we get to know each other, that we, um, that we learn, share and learn from each other. And of course, uh, there is, you're always free to share whatever you want. Uh, there's no obligation to that, but it does provide an opportunity to, uh, to learn. And then the second step is to, uh, to explore your situation. And you have a little bit more time for that. So that would be five weeks. Uh, we have three online sessions to check in. One of them is really a technical session on, um, on those four areas. We have four different sessions and you can choose which one to attend um to to learn from our technical experts uh, on those specific workforce nutrition areas and here the assignment is to really go into your company and talk to the people that you need to talk to to uh to find out what the opportunities are for workforce nutrition so for example if you have a nurse in your company you may want to uh, talk to that person. If you have a canteen manager, you may want to talk to them. You may want to talk to some of the workers to uh, to find out what they are interested in and what they would be looking for. Um, and then once you have all of that, you have uh, sort of set the basics for your program, we go into the next step, uh, define goals and activities. And of course, this is an important one. Um, so this is uh, where we help you think through if you want to achieve uh, A, you need to do uh, B to get there. So uh, I think it's often very easy to think, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll name a random example, uh, I'll just put up a poster and people will start eating healthier. And um, of course, when we give it some more thought, we realize that that is probably not sufficient to actually change people's behavior. So we, uh, we do want to give it a bit more thought, like how do I get where, uh, yeah, where I want to go? And then how do I use my uh, resources as efficiently as possible? So um, we really want to help you think through activities that are most impactful and that are also very feasible to implement within your company. So you can think about um, going with the structures that are already in place in your company and uh, leverage those so that you have a very practical uh, implementation process that it's realistic for your company. Um, yeah, because we we all know that that there is a business to run and people have limited time uh, to, to work on a workforce nutrition program. So we do really want to make uh, those solutions, make them impactful and uh, feasible for your specific setting. Then uh, we've had the first, I think with the first three steps, we had uh, like the first half of the course where we really um, design the program and then the second half of the course step four and five is then to implement it so this uh, takes a little bit longer we have nine weeks to really kick start kick start that implementation and um this is also where the majority of the time goes because of course uh yeah now uh, now you need to get into action mode to actually start implementing the program 
And uh, this is where you, we uh, have regular check-in sessions um, where you can uh, ask your questions, uh, discuss the challenges that you have, uh, learn from each other. Um, yeah, uh, you really have, I think a lot of the questions are only coming up once you get into implementation. So uh, we feel it's really relevant to still have that uh, that group where we can learn and um, that regular feedback so that we uh, we can course correct uh, where needed and find some very practical solutions. Uh, and then the last step is, of course, to show your success, because by this time you will have uh, started your uh, your workforce nutrition program. And uh, it's really time to recap to see what you've to look back at what you've been doing to uh to report on that um and that's not just for our group because it's it's fun to learn from each other but it's probably also you want something you want to do within your company to uh to share with others look this is what we have done with workforce nutrition this is how people respond to it uh, and i think very often uh, our experience with workforce nutrition is that people employees really appreciate uh, what a company does because it's, um, yeah, we we like it when uh, people are taking care of us uh, in a good way. I think that's a universal human, uh, yeah, the way we are wired that we appreciate that if, uh, if a company is taking care of us and nutrition is such a beautiful way in how, uh, how you can do that as a company. Uh, so this is where we where we recap and uh, evalu evaluate, celebrate uh, the successes, but then also think through maybe some next steps you want to take and um, yeah, set some uh, set a plan to uh, to what is next once you've uh, completed the program. And of course, uh, we encourage you to stay in touch with your buddy or with others that you have learned from. So uh, some very practical questions that you may have. Uh, we imagine that a uh, workforce nutrition program manager is spending about half a day per week on average. Um, this is not just to participate in a program, but also to design and implement. Um, so it may seem like a lot, but then it's really about starting your program and really having something concrete at the end of this implementation time. And then uh, I also believe that in the program, we do help you to use your time and resources efficiently. So uh, that might be something to consider as well. Uh, you can see the prices here below. For the Get Started uh, program, it's 1,150 euros for the first participant and then 1,000 for the second. Dive deeper, uh, 1,450 for the first and 1,200 for the second participant. And then uh, the Get Started program is starting in October. So that is uh, in a few months already. So you, um, yeah, now is the time that you can already start signing up. If you want to know more about this, uh, if you're still doubting a bit whether it's relevant for you, please feel free to reach out. We are always happy to have a conversation with you about it, uh, whether this fits your need, whether it's relevant for you. Uh, the Dive Deeper program is starting in January, so that is a bit further along the way, but of course, also for that one, uh, feel free to reach out. And that is also uh, where I conclude. Um, so please visit the website to, first of all, learn more about the Alliance if you're interested, uh, see which tools and resources are offered, but then also download the free guidebook series. And uh, if you're interested, sign up for the technical support program. And then, as I mentioned, feel free to reach out to us um, at workforcenutrition.gainhealth.org to learn more about uh, the tools and resources offered or any questions you may have. And then you can also, and I think we will share a link with this uh, in the chat in a bit um, or afterwards per email, um, sign up to receive news and information from the Workforce Nutrition Alliance. Uh, we, uh, yeah, you can sign up to the email list. 
so with that, I would like to conclude. And uh, we have uh, about 15 minutes left for Q&A. Um, and I see that we have a question in the chat. So thank you, uh, Adekunle, for asking that question. Um, is there specific post-COVID related support in this program? And then uh, your second question is, considered an annual award to recognize organization making progress with their workforce institution program as a way to grow awareness and get people involved. Uh, well, for the first question, um, we will definitely have attention for uh, post-COVID um, challenges that companies may have. Um, yeah, what what exactly that looks like, that is something that we're still uh, working on, but GAIN has developed also a number of resources on how companies may, uh, are able to respond to, um, to the COVID situation. Like, uh, for example, we have shared uh, in our Keeping Mar Food Markets Work program, we have shared some recommendations, uh, and these are available on the website, on the gainhealth.org website, some recommendations on uh, what a company can do in terms of providing uh, food, uh, either at the workplace or uh, to bring home uh, for employees in, a, in an emergency setting. And then also um, another resource that we have been developing, the Nutrition at Work Handbook, also has this annex uh, specifically on, uh, on COVID, uh, what a company can do in light of that. And then, um, yeah, also in the technical support program, we will definitely pay attention to that because it's such an yeah important issue. Consider an annual award. Um, that's a great idea. I, um, I don't know if Eva wants to comment, uh, comment anyone, uh, anything else on that, but uh, I really like the suggestion. Thank you. Yeah, Miriam, I think it's a it's a very interesting idea. We can discuss how we can make it work and, and what this would look like. Um, and then um, your third question, are the amounts listed prices for workforce nutrition leaders in organizations? So this is the amounts listed um, are the is the price for the participant so the indeed the workforce nutrition program manager participating in the um, in the technical support program. Um, so as we are waiting for more questions coming in, Eva, is there any final remarks from your side? Thank you, Miriam. Um, no, I think I hope that everything was very clear. Everything seemed amazingly clear to me, and I do hope that we will have. Um, quite some interest in, in the technical support program, which has been clearly articulated. I do encourage you. Great, thank you, Eva. Here's another question. Thank you, James. Uh, what are the success indicators? How will success be identified by? That's a very good question. We have actually, um, uh, in the guidebooks, you will find uh, on each topic, you will find a suggestion on things you may want to monitor in your um, in your workforce nutrition program in your company. Um, for example, if you are improving healthy food at work, you may want to look at um, the sale, the purchase um, data on vegetables, for example. Uh, so we give some pointers, like th these are the things that you may want to consider uh, to look at. And then uh, as a company, you are deciding yourself how you define success and what, uh, yeah, when are you happy uh, with what you've done? And uh, there will be attention, of course, to that in the technical support program as well. Uh, yeah, so this is, um, I would recommend to look at the guidebook section as well to get a bit of a sense of uh, what that may look like uh, for each uh, program area. How do we persuade the employers who did not want to do workforce nutrition pro uh, programs? Um, thank you for that question. Um, I do, well, I, I suppose there's two, uh, <laughs> 
two components to the answer. That the first one is um, we have uh, we have been working on uh, a business case for our first nutrition, for example. This is available on the website. Uh, we do have great stories to share from other um, other companies who have had great experiences with implementing workforce nutrition. And as I mentioned earlier, it's not. Um, I think it can do great things for your business. Um, people may have better attention span, for example, if they have regular meals throughout the day. Um, and uh, so there's really business indicators, but then also it can be really powerful to uh, have a better relationship with your employees, to uh, for them to feel uh, valued and uh, seen by the company, which can then also turn into uh, a business benefit, of course. Um, so I do think that we have a strong story to uh, to talk to businesses about because there's so much opportunity. Um, to invest in this and then also it's a it's a well we sometimes say it's a happy topic like everyone likes good food everyone likes um, healthy nutrition so it's uh, it's not very controversial so that makes it easier for a business to implement this as well um, and it's relatively compared to some other things you may consider as a business to do it's relatively uh, low effort to uh, compare to other uh, compared to other programs um, the second part of the answer is also um, it's it will be different per company whether they can set this as a priority. We do realize that companies have so many things um, to choose from. So it's, um, yeah, you may also want to go where the energy is, where uh, where companies do have that space to, to look into this and, um, yeah, and take one step further on this. But um, yeah, I would definitely check out the uh, the website for uh, for all the um, yeah everything we have available to uh, to encourage companies to take a to look into this. And you know, if I may add to this, um, there is of course the business case and all the work that has been done to articulate it, but also there is a reputation and communication piece that for many companies it's really important. And um, this is something that we are very uh, willing to, to support on. So an employer who is willing to engage in the process and who actually um, make it happen and actually works on this will be able to gain visibility on our website. But we can also work with them to create common communication pieces that will um, enhance their visibility, um, not only across the industry, but also uh, with a wider public as well. And this is always a positive um, strategy and a, and a good approach for uh, businesses, no matter what they're based, I think. Thank you, Eva. That was a very important add. I hope that answered your question. Um, yeah, if you have any further questions, uh, feel free to still put them in the Q&A box or um, reach out to us on workforce nutrition at ginhealth.org. Um, okay. I think we'll leave it uh, at that then. Thank you so much for participating today. I uh, really appreciate it. And um, we're very happy to share all these um, yeah, exciting developments in the Workforce Nutrition Alliance and how we can, uh, how we are on this journey to, uh, to really strengthen the support to companies. Uh, because in the end, we uh, do really want to make an impact on uh, employees' lives. So uh, we're very happy to, uh, to be working with you on that in the future, hopefully. Um, feel free to reach out with any questions you may have. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll stay in touch. Thank you so much for participating.